Our topic today is kinetic particle theory. To explain kinetic particle theory, I will start with the very basic concept of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and occupies space. Everything around us is matter, be it air, water, fire or earth. We also know that everything in the universe is made up of particles, very tiny particles. And these particles are constantly moving. This is what kinetic particle theory is all about. It states that everything is made up of particles which are in constant motion. Arrangement of these particles determine different states of matter. The most common states of matter are solid, liquid and gas. In solids, as shown in the diagram, the particles are tightly packed together in a fixed pattern leaving no spaces behind. That's why they are incompressible. The strong forces of attraction hold them together so they cannot leave their positions and can only show vibrational motion. They have very high density owing to tightly packed structure. So to summarize, in solids there are tightly packed particles arranged in a fixed pattern and held together by strong forces of attraction. The particles have very low kinetic energy and solids are incompressible and can only show vibrational motion. In liquids, as you can see in the diagram, the particles have some spaces between them due to which they can flow. The particles are still close to each other but not in a lattice. That's why Liquids have indefinite shape. The forces that hold the particles together are weaker than those present in a solid. So, in short, the liquids have loosely packed particles, indefinite shape, definite volume, weaker forces of attraction than solids, they are incompressible, they can flow and their particles have medium kinetic energy. In gases, however, the particles are far apart. They have almost no forces holding them together, resulting in a very large empty spaces between them. This makes gases highly compressible. These particles have very high kinetic energy due to which they show random motion. So, in gases, the particles are far apart from each other, they have indefinite shape, indefinite volume, they have negligible forces of attraction, they are highly compressible, their particles show random motion and they have very high kinetic energy. Being a science student, a question comes in the mind that are there any evidences to support the idea of particle? Well, the answer is yes. The spreading of aroma, a drop of ink in water, the dust particles dancing in the bright sunlight, the purple color of potassium permanganate crystals in water, and the mixing of brown colored bromine gas with air. All are examples of diffusion or mixing up of the particles. Another evidence is crystallization, which is appearance of crystals on temperature changes. Appearance of copper sulfate crystals from its solution, the snowflakes, the residue left behind after the evaporation of salt solution. All these provide us with the evidence of existence of particles because if matter was not made up of particles, it would have been impossible for us to observe such beautiful phenomena of nature. So far, 
We have studied that according to kinetic particle theory, matter is made up of particles which are constantly moving. The evidence for particles is given by diffusion and crystallization. For further queries, feel free to contact at nadiazulfikar34 at gmail.com. Thank you.